All right, folks, I am uh, down in the coastal plain right now looking for snakes. Um, it's been a really weird spring. It's pretty cool today. It's like 59 degrees. As you can see above me, completely cloudy. I'm hoping that that gets stuff up under 10, but it's been a really slow year so far. So we're gonna see what we can make of it. I don't really know what's gonna be up today and what won't be, but we'll give it a shot. There went a fence lizard. Cool. <laughs> There we go, little pine snake. Holy smokes, going into shed. But I can't complain about that. Beautiful little pine snake, unfortunately in shed, someone's shooting guns off in the distance. But anyway, super stoked to see this guy. Um, unfortunately, it's starting to go on the move here. I'm just gonna let it go off in these bushes. Um, I'm gonna keep the encounter short just because, uh, you know, snake is in shed and, uh, you know, I'll come back maybe and see it on a better day if it's still here. This guy goes back under the tent. I'm gonna keep looking around. Well, I was about to, uh, to flip this piece, but I just thought I'd point this guy out. Look at this guy all pancaked on the tin right now. Just, uh, oh, he's about to move. He went under the tin, but he was just using that to warm up. Let's see if anybody's doing the same on the underside. I don't see anybody, but pretty cool regardless. All right, not a whole lot of action since that uh, pine snake, but here's a good looking Fowler's toad right here. It's nice yellow by the legs, so I assume it's a male. But uh, these guys are really common down here. Cool species nonetheless. I'm gonna put them back down in the uh, in the bushes here. Someone moved my thing. Damn. All right, so uh, right now I am exploring a new site, as you can see. I'm gonna hate myself later because of the ticks. Tons and tons of junk here and stuff like that. But as has been the case pretty much all day, I'm just not really seeing any snakes. I don't know what the deal is. I'm not seeing racers, worm snakes, ringnecks. Um, just that pine this morning. So let you guys know how I do and uh, I'll get back to you if I get something. Oop. All right, worm snake. I was gonna say, I'd be shocked if we went with a worm snake at this place. The usual suspect that has been weirdly absent for most of the day, but I guess happy just to be seeing something at this point. Put him back under his board. And uh, got another good looking piece of cover right here. Some sort of mat. This is also the kind of thing that looks like it would have at least a worm snake. But as with most things today, for whatever reason, oh, did I just miss a snake? I think I just missed a ring neck. Oh, yep, 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 get back here. Another snake that has been, again, weirdly absent today. But uh, maybe we're turning our luck around right now. As the day's warmed up, I guess. Could be that stuff wants to come out. Ring necks here are kind of like more towards the southern end of the spectrum versus northern ringnecks, which you have up north. Here they're all intergrades, but I am, um, you know, this is more southern looking. I'm gonna put him back under his, uh, his 
mat here. And there he goes. This place is just loaded with garbage. Really? It's shocking. Not even a razor or something. Hmm. Check that out. Flip this pool tarp and look at this guy hanging out. Huge worm snake. This guy is large and like kind of uniquely pink. Look how pink that belly is. Kind of fun. I'm gonna let this guy go though. Place never ends. Look at this. It's the type of thing that's like it's gotta have a king under it at some point. I'm gonna put the camera down. Oh, giant ring neck. Oh, three ring necks. One, two, three. I'm gonna start with the big guy. That is gorgeous. Then a smaller one. And then look at this guy. Look at this absolute fistful. Big one is insane. But otherwise, like woozers. That's crazy. I'm gonna let the little ones go and then get a better view of the big one. This big ring neck is pretty stunning. It's got beautiful coloration on the bottom side. And it's definitely one of the bigger ring necks I've seen outside of the mountains. Look at that, that's huge. Now ringnecks are pretty common, but they're they're honestly very, very beautiful snakes. I mean, I I love them, and you know you get to see a lot of them, so you get kind of jaded. But I mean, if they weren't common, look at these things. They're ridiculous looking. Bright yellow, all that contrast, almost bluish on top, and a ring around the neck. I mean, it's really cool. I'm gonna take a phone picture of this guy and let him go like the others. One last look at this guy. Beautiful, beautiful snake. I'm gonna put him back under his giant king snake tub. And hopefully it doesn't get eaten. <laughs> Where's the snake under here? Oh, another ring neck. Oh, and a worm snake. That's kind of cool. Let's see. Ugh. Another striking ring neck. Look at that. Very pretty. I'm gonna put these guys over here for now. Because I've gotta flip this guy right here. I can. New species for the day. Another fossorial red bellied snake. Check that out. It's actually my first red belly of the year. I haven't seen these guys in a little while. They came out of this stack of siding, so the spot is turning out to be super, super productive. All common snakes, but ones that we are uh, glad to see spot is loaded with these guys. Look at this guy's got much less pattern on his stomach. I'm gonna put him over here so I can just get up under this. But anyway, lots of ringnecks at this spot. And I'm hoping that it means that there's snakes that eat snakes, like king snakes and milk snakes and, and whatnot. You would think that that would uh, indicate that, but who knows. Another ringneck snake. This one, another kind of muted belly on this one. These guys seem to be up in force right now, which could be a good sign. All right, uh, I flipped a bunch of junk 
and just saw more ringneck snakes and lizards and stuff like that. So running out of daylight and I'm gonna call it a night, but I'm staying down here overnight, so I'm gonna get back after it tomorrow and I will check in with you guys in the morning. Well folks, it's been a painfully slow day so far. I'll let you guys know if that turns around, but I've only seen one worm snake and I didn't have my camera on me for it, so I just let it go. <laughs> Assuming I'd see more, but that has not proven to be the case yet. Since we aren't finding much, I figured I'd show you guys this uh, pretty proud looking male fence lizard. I mean, look at the vibrance of those scales on the belly. Bright, bright blue. I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of a better look. One second. I mean, look at that. That's amazing. I don't mean to stress this guy out too much, but he was posted up on a log with females nearby, so he is fully strutting as good as he knows how. Handsome lizard. I'm gonna go put him back. Alright, folks. Well, these two worm snakes are some of the only snakes I've seen all day long. The only other snake being another worm snake, which just feels kind of ridiculous, being that it's like 70 and cloudy mid-May. I don't know. Weird. Sometimes it's not the, uh, the effort, because I've been flipping and hiking all day long. So I'm going to put these guys back, and hopefully we turn something up before we go home. folks I am out in the field having a fantastic day looking for milk snakes but that's actually not gonna be in this video it's gonna be for an upcoming video in the next couple weeks uh, what I'm gonna end up doing because yesterday flipping for snakes was so unproductive is uh, I've got some amphibian footage from not long ago that I'm gonna tack on to the end of this video so it's a fun night I'm gonna roll those clips all right, so me and Jack here are cruising around. I've got a little rain on the uh, on the lens there because uh, we were just filming something, but uh, we're gonna see what we can find. This fog's so thick you could cut it with a knife. All right, look at this living hot dog right here. It's a huge one. Wow, that's awesome. Let me get some footage before he moves. Sweet. So check out the size of this guy. This one is huge. Usually we don't find him this big, but this is massive. So sometimes these curbs like this are a big problem for these salamanders because they try to cross the road and this one's not so bad but you see they get a little bit confused and will meander along here for a while. We're gonna pick this big sausage up and uh, like in someone's driveway, but we'll move him across and he can get on his way. All right, second salamander of the night is a northern two-line salamander. These guys are relatively common. I just saw this guy jamming real fast across the road. Wow. Now he doesn't want to move at all. You just can't pick these guys up. Now he's... Okay. Well... Alright. <laughs> He'll figure it out. Okay, next salamander of the night here is the, uh, the humble redback salamander. Pretty common guys. These guys are like the uh, classic backyard salamander. 
that uh, a lot of kids grow up finding if you're interested in stuff Good like this. Good starter salamander. Good starter pack. Uh, we're gonna get this guy off the road and uh, keep cruising around here. Got a pretty sharp looking Atlantic Coast Leopard Frog here. Not really gonna mess with this guy, but um, on the inside of the legs you can kinda see it. They kinda have like a black and white spotted type pattern, which is pretty diagnostic for them. But let me get a eye level view of this guy. Oh, he's coming right for the camera. Oh, he's coming dead on. What a freaky fella. So apparently these guys are, I think these are rusty crayfish and they're invasive. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta get this out. <laughs> oh my goodness. Look at that. Holy cow. <laughs> Holy smokes. How's it look? It's looking pretty good. For a thumbnailer. Yeah. It's a oh, good he's thumbnail. almost got me. Hey, Jack, how much for you to get pinched by this guy? 100, 100K. 100K? Should I let it latch on to some part of my body. Oh, oh, Ooh. okay. No, I it, knew he's gonna try with that second it. one. Oh, come on, no, no. Oh, he's trying with the second one. Oh, yeah, pinch yourself. Oh, he's got me with the double. Okay. Oh, 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 he hasn't, he's decided he hasn't had enough. He hasn't had his fill. It's not like that bad, it's kind of going numb. Oh, he's pinching down harder. It's pulsing. I don't know what he's trying to do with this this back one. I don't. I also don't know how to let, get him to let go. Oh, 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 oh! Oh, there we go. All right. Let's see the damage. It's really not that bad. It's just like a. <laughs> All right. We literally just put that crayfish down. Now we've got another big crayfish. This one doesn't really have big pinchers, and it's not red, but I think it's the same species. All right, so I just dropped Jack back at his house, and uh, yeah, we're ending the night. I thought it would be more productive than it was. I thought we were gonna get a lot of red salamanders, but we only ended up seeing like a handful of salamanders, like less than five, maybe? I don't know, we didn't stop for everything because a lot of them looked like they were just red backs and stuff like that, but big red salamander, probably the highlight. That crayfish was kind of funny too. Anyway, I'm gonna cap this video off here. If you made it this far, thanks for watching. Uh, I will catch you guys on the next one.